Well, here's a good question. Uh, I've got a volume of hydrogen at STP. Now, careful with STP, standard temperature and pressure. Temperature is 273.15 Kelvin. The pressure uh, we have said is 100.00 kilopascals. But in some books, and maybe this, this one here, uh, is using 101.325 kilopascals. So careful with that. But let's use our formula. We're not changing anything. We're just wondering about how much uh, of hydrogen there is. So we'll use the ideal gas law. And we're looking for moles to begin with. And then we'll use this formula uh, to determine the mass of hydrogen. Okay, so N is going to be equal to PV over RT. So the pressure, let's use 100 kilopascals times the volume, 0 0.0439 liters, divided by 8.314 kilopascal liters per Kelvin mole, and our temperature is 273.15 Kelvin. So the Kelvins cancel, liters cancel. Uh, <coughs> Where's my kilopa oh, kilopascals cancel? And now I just have to multiply and divide that. So let's do it here. So 100. Ah. One hundred times point zero four three nine divided by eight point three one four times two seventy three point one five. Okay, so it gives me the number of moles zero point zero zero one nine three moles and then I'll use this formula to find mass. So mass is moles times molar mass. The moles point zero zero one nine three moles times the molar mass of hydrogen is 2.02 .02 grams per mole. So the moles cancel, so I just have to take that number that I had and times it by 2.02. .02. And I'm coming up with 0 0.0038998, etc. grams. I have to round it to three sig figs. So I'd probably call it point zero zero oh oh uh three nine zero grams. That's probably what I'd call it. Now let me look at the answers. <clears throat> Looks like they don't have that. So let's try and use that other value for um the standard pressure. So if I use one oh one point three two five I come up with 395. And there's a 395 there, but it's not. I have 0 0.00395. Did I make a mistake with liters or milliliters? I don't think so. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. I think I, I think I'm I'm sticking with my number, point zero zero, three nine zero grams. Like I, you could write this one, and call it milligrams. But not grams. Interesting. Um, if I were a guessing person, I'd guess that one. Because <coughs> it's the closest, but. Anyway, uh, next one. This one here, they talk about getting a molecular formula. We didn't do any of those about that. Here's one. Hydrogen balloon, 25, pressure 1, volume of 1. How many grams of argon gas must be added to the balloon to achieve a volume of 3.84 liters at constant temperature and pressure? Hmm. 
So let me just do my P1, V1. I'm not sure where to go with this question yet. V2, T2, N2. So hydrogen is 25, so that's 298.15 Kelvin. One atmosphere, so that's 101.325 kilopascals. 325 kilopascals. And has a volume of one liter. And then they say, how many grams of argon gas must be added? Well, they don't tell us any moles of that at constant temperature and pressure. So this one, pressure's constant, temperature's constant. And what they did is they up, they up the volume to 3.84 liters. So they want to know how much gra many grams of argon gas must be added. Interesting. Well, let, let's, just, let's just throw in a number. Let's say one mole of, uh, our, of the gas. And uh, I can use Avogadro's law to figure out how many moles I should end up with. Let's do that. So uh, V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2. I'm solving for N2. So that's N1 V2 over V1. N1 is one mole times volume two, 3.84 liters divided by volume one, 1 1.00 liters. The liters cancel. And so I wind up with 3.84 moles. Uh, that's how many moles I'd wind up with if I started with one mole. So, um, and they wanna know how much is added. So I look at one mole to 3.84 moles, it looks like I added 2.84 moles of gas um, to that uh, balloon or whatever. So if I added this much, and they want to know what grams of argon gas must be added, so I'll use moles is equal to mass over molar mass, mass is equal to moles times molar mass, the moles are three point, no, I added this much, so 2.84 moles times the molar mass of argon. I don't know that. Um, what's the molar mass of argon? Just a sec. 39.95. Okay, so let's do it on the calculator. Well, it's got to be this one. But let's, let's get out the calculator and try it. Ah. So what do I have to do? 2.84 times 39.95. 2.84. times 39.95. Oh, I'm getting 113. I guess my only option here, because I thought it was a little, a little bit higher, so it's not this one. It's 113.45, so 113 grams. And so I'd probably have to say none of those that are there. Hopefully that helps you out with those three questions.